Oh, so hello, Laura Taylor. Laura Taylor from Private Cellar. We're just back from Bordeaux at Gatwick Airport, having tasted 2015 Prima. Do share with us your thoughts about the vintage and maybe give us some ideas about your favorite wines, uh, those of the head, those of the heart, and those of the pocketbook or your wallet. Okay. So first of all, we had a fabulous week of tastings. Um, thoroughly enjoyed meeting all the producers and trying a fantastic range of wines. Everyone was incredibly positive about the wines. Um, I have to say we possibly didn't find them all as fantastic as it was billed to be. There was less um, homogeneity than we thought there was going to be. But we did see some lovely wines. Uh, so my wine from the head, um, I think I'd probably say Chateau Margot. Um, I love the tasting there, it's obviously tinged with sadness, um, with that Paul Pontalier there for the first time since I've been tasting there in 20 years. Um, but I love the red and I particularly enjoyed the white, I thought that was delicious. Uh, so that would be my wine from the head. My wine from the heart, I think, my heart actually does belong on the right bank of Bordeaux, um, particularly in Pomerol and saint Um I've been working with the Moritz family. Um, in various guises for 20 years and uh, loved La La Petrus, but I'd be hard pushed to choose between La La Petrus and Bella Monarch. I love the intensity of the fruit and the freshness of the wines, so uh, that was a fabulous tasting for me. And for the pocketbook, I would, well, every year I try to buy a case of Francois Mitchell's wines. Um, if I can get my hands on it, Rock to Pom, which I love. Um, if I can't get my hands on that because it's family hold back, I would try a case of Domaine de Pont. I thought the wines were fantastic and he's done a super job. Thanks so much, Laura. Thank you.